Dairy farming is the single largest subsector of agriculture in Kenya. According to the Ministry of Livestock Development, Kenya contributes 3% of the 18% global milk produced within sub-Saharan Africa. Kenya's dairy cow population is estimated to be 4.3 million kept under extensive, semi-intensive and intensive systems of production. The Denki Math University of Technology farm dates back to 1900 and was initially established as a plantation farm. The farm is a 648-acre mixed farm with an emphasis on coffee, dairy, horticulture, banana plantation and sheep rearing. The farm has small sections of natural forest which act as biodiversity refuge points. Dairy farming at the university's farm has adapted the semi-intensive system of dairy production. The farm rears 54 cows categorized under either medium yielder, low yielders, bulls, heifers and calves. Freshen is the main breed reared with an average milk production of 25 liters per cow. Welcome to Denon Kimad University Farm. My name is Dr. Peter Muri. I'm the current farm manager. Our vision is to be the best farm run university farm. The milk produced at the farm is largely consumed at the university cafeteria. Part of the milk is used at the University's Institute of Food and Bioresources Technology to support the university value addition agenda. The institute uses cutting-edge technology and state-of-art equipment to process the milk into different flavors of yogurt like vanilla, strawberry, and coffee-flavored yogurt. The surplus milk is sold to the university staff and New Kenya Cooperative Creameries. Hide as a byproduct is used by the University Leather Technology Department to make leather products which include bags, shoes, and wallets, while manure is used in the coffee and horticulture farming. To achieve maximum yield of milk production, the university grows various types of fodders like maize, lucerne, and rhodes grass used for silage preparation. To complement the feeds, various ingredients are outsourced from the market and used to prepare concentrates. We also want to expand our fonda production and in future we will be making our own feeds. We are in the process of procuring a, a mixing machine such that you buy the ingredients then you mix your own feed. This will cut down our cost of buying the concentrates. Many dairy farmers are faced with the menace of pests and diseases affecting their dairy animals. How does Deco Dairy Farm manage this menace? We protect our cows from both external and internal parasites. External parasites, we do spraying, we do spray them with a carapace. We normally do our deworming through oral administration. There is a special equipment for applying, for administering uh, dewormers orally. Like any other type of farming, the dairy farming at Deden Kimath University of Technology's farm faces some challenges. The university is located at the slopes of Mount Kenya Nyeri County. The region experiences unfavorable weather conditions during some periods of the year. During some months the weather is too cold which leads to a drop in milk production. On the other hand, prolonged dry season affects growth of fodder crops used for silage preparation, thus affecting the feeding patterns and consequently causing a drop in milk production. Despite the challenges facing dairy farming at the university, the farm still manages to stand out as the major contributor to the overall milk production in Kenya. The university's dairy farm management plans to increase the dairy animal population to 100 actively lactating animals at any one time. The management also seeks to build a modern dairy unit fitted with an automated feeding system and also introduce new breeds of dairy animals in a bid to foster research and development in the dairy industry. Have you had your glass of milk today? A glass of milk a day brightens your smile and strengthens your immune system. Mm -hmm.